Hello Enchanted Ones, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be very special as I will be showing you inside my world and what lies just outside my back door, this 150 acre wood. Today I will be taking you inside my mind to tell you a little more about me and also to show you how I mapped out this entire wood. But it is not just any wood, Enchanted Ones. It is the Enchanted Wood. You do not see magic until you believe it. And the enchanted wood has become just that. Some people might find it to be just an ordinary wood, but to me, it holds so many stories, so much life and pure natural beauty. I love to venture out to the wood every day and sometimes twice a day, and in it I love to gather, let go, contemplate, and above all, explore. This wood is beyond anything I could ever imagine living in. It has so many hidden gems within, and so many interesting characters that I wanted to honour it. So naturally, I decided to make a map. I started off by taking my little notebook and with each walk drew different places and pathways. When I arrived home after my walks, I then started to piece the puzzle together on larger pieces of paper although it took quite a few attempts before I could get it right. Although the process of doing this was highly satisfying and fun, I was so confused with a few pathways for days. I drew mock-ups of 10 different maps, all with one pathway I couldn't understand. So to solve the puzzle, I took my map outside with me and stayed outside until I understood. When I understood, I also took a note of what was in these places, what type of trees were there, or if there were any particular qualities it had. This would then later help me decide its enchanted name. Once I was satisfied with the layout, I started to create the official map. Once I penciled the pathways on, I made the paper look old by dabbing a wet tea bag over the paper. Once this was dry, I went over the pencil with biro and added all the little places within. I then decided on the official names of my special places. So for example, I have had a secret place I love to go. It is full of little pools, moss and baby frogs. I decided to henceforth name this place the Secret Swamp. My mind also wanted to create a sense of magic in these woods and I felt like I had to pass through portals every time I visited this secret swamp portals that were these fir trees that I had to squeeze through. Also, this place stood out to me because it was so grand with its tall fir trees. It was so old and so calm and I felt the trees watching over me, so I named it Ancestor Place. Once I had finished the map, I then lit a candle and I skimmed the outside of the paper with the candle. This created a lovely old burnt effect on the edge of the map. My top tip is to blow out the paper as soon as it starts to burn, otherwise you'll have massive holes. And then the map was complete. Well, almost complete. I decided to go one step further and paint a huge canvas of the wood to honour it further in my home. As I mentioned, this wood is so magical to me. 
And it is not just because I love woodlands, it is also because my life revolves around the elements and the pagan sabbaths. You could call me a solitary witch, a green witch, an eclectic witch, or a pagan. My practice branches out down many different pathways, such as herbalism, art magic, crystal healing, and much more. I love to dabble in everything I can with this limited time frame I have on Earth. The giant map was complete, so I hung it upon my wall with the paper maps. And enchanted ones, I now invite you to come into my world, the enchanted wood. If you would like to see more of the Enchanted Forest, do not forget to follow me on Instagram in which I share my beautiful finds with you all. Thank you so much for all your support, Enchanted Ones, and I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my life. Please do let me know a little about yourselves in the comments. I'd love to get to know you all. All my love, Alwyn.